All right, so let's take a look at this movement. We've got a hinge, squat, hinge. So it's a really good one to warm up hip flexors, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and the lower back, getting all that mobilized. All right, so we're gonna start with our feet, anywhere from about hip to shoulder width, right, depending on your mobility. We're gonna start with a hinge. So for that hinge, we're creating tension through our, through our lower, <laughs> lower legs, through our legs by splitting that earth between our feet. All right, that's gonna start the engagement that we want. We're gonna press the booty back, coming all the way down into that hinge, right? We want full range of motion here. So as far back as you can push that butt while main maintaining that long, tall, straight spine all the way through the crown of the head, all right? Once you've hit that in range, you're gonna drop your butt down as low as you can into your squat, all right? So some of you may be able to go a lot lower than I can. That's about as much as I've got right now without my heels coming up off the ground, which is what we don't want. So keep those heels pressed back, all right? So once you're there, you're gonna pop back in to that end range of your hinge. So legs are gonna slightly straighten out. We're not locking them out, right? There's still a bend. They're gonna straighten out. Again, we're coming back into that end range. Booty is pushing back as far as you can, loading up those glutes. They're nice and tight. Nice tall spine, straight spine here at that end range hinge. And then you're gonna squeeze those glutes to pop your hips back forward and come back to that starting position. All right, so we're gonna speed it up just a little bit. Hinge it and range as low as you can get down into that squat. Pop it back up into that in range of that hinge and then all the way back up to that standing position. Make sure you drive those hips up and forward at the top. Squeeze those glutes and let's go get it.